From our 17 follow-up file, last week we told you about a Bakersfield police officer who saved a landscaper's life after he was found at the bottom of the pool by his co-workers. 17's Eliana Capian sat down with the officer to talk about that harrowing day. When he's in uniform and on duty, Lieutenant Christopher Knutson knows saving lives is part of the job description. But last week, his off-duty Wednesday morning took a dive for the worst. I hear a bunch of banging at my front door and ringing the doorbell frantically. So I run over the, to the front door. I open the door and it's one of the landscapers and he, he tells me, mi amigo, mi amigo in the pool. So immediately, I, my heart drops. Newton says adrenaline immediately took over his body as he ran out to his pool, jumped over the safety fence, and dove into the eight-foot-deep cold water to save the landscaper, who still had his leaf blower attached to his body, weighing him down. He's face up on the bottom of the pool, eyes, eyes wide open, and I could tell he's, he's not moving. He's no longer in distress, and I'm thinking the worst at that point. So I get the leaf blower off of his back. I swim him up to the top. I push him up onto the top of the deck. I climb out. I check him. He's not breathing. He has no pulse, so I immediately start CPR. It has been reported that it takes less than 60 seconds or inhaling less than half a cup of water for an adult to drown. As a first responder, Lieutenant Newton is CPR trained, which helped him resuscitate the landscaper. It happened so fast that it was, it was kind of surreal. And after about a minute, he started, he started uh, spitting up water coming out of his mouth. A lot of water was coming out of his nose. Um, I checked him again, and then I, he had a pulse, and then he took a big gasp of air, and that's when I realized, I'm like, I think this guy's going to be okay. When the paramedics <laughs> arrived on scene, they took over care and transported the landscaper to a local hospital. Now he's doing great. I actually, I spoke to his brother-in-law a couple days ago, and his brother-in-law said he's doing great. 17 News reached out to the landscaper, and his brother-in-law said this. He thanks God he's good, and he's working again. Of course, he's a little scared, and he's not 100%. But he's a little better, especially after going to the hospital. He's better. The landscaper was back to work less than a week after his traumatic accident. His brother-in-law says the landscaper is a little scared, but doing better since he went to the hospital for care. They are just thankful to Lieutenant Knudsen and God that he has another opportunity at life. Thank God who just gave him another opportunity. Now we move forward, continue working. That's all that's left for us in this country. It was just merely by chance that I, I happened to be there at that time. It was literally a right place, right time story. It was so surreal in the moment that you don't really think that I'm saving this man's life. I'm just doing what I need to do.